I'm gonna draw outside shape. You also one charcoal. Uh, her face is a little bit longer face, long face. Huh? So basic guideline for outside shape. Okay, here is a hair level. Uh, the half face is an eye level. Okay, here's the eyebrow, and then here's the nose. So you can draw uh, eye first. So if I draw like eye, like that big. So between two eyes, always like one eye space. So how many eyes per face in the front of you? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Five eyes. So uh, now you measure how wide the nose, one eye space. Okay, here's one eye between two eyes. Okay, how long nose is gonna be? So you, you make a you you make an eye like a vertical way. Go to top nose corner. This is the top nose corner. Huh? So we draw head first, then we draw hands, or for waist a semester, then we draw foot, then we draw torso, then we draw leg. Okay, the nose is wide space. How about the mouth? The mouth, yeah, this, this mouth upper lip really close to nose because for shorter. Yeah, a little bit dramatic uh, perspective because she's, she's sitting pretty high. I'm pretty low, so that's why. This part distance should be a little bit short. And also all the features, you can see the bottom a lot. For example, you can see underneath the nose. Also you can see from eyebrow to eye, you can see a lot of space here because of foreshortened. Okay, and then here's a chin. I'll put the marks on here. Okay, now we do the hair. The hair level, always, almost like a close to eyebrow for her, this pose. So I put on here. So this is a still one charcoal. Why one charcoal is easy to clean up. So when you made a mistake, so you can use one charcoal, pretty easy to clean. Okay, so this end the joints, almost done. Now I try to looking for the cast shadow. So what is cast shadow? For example, the lighting heating on the forehead. So underneath the eyebrow bone, so we have a shadow on the top of the nose. So here is a cast the shadow. The mark you had to put on. So when you do the homework, yeah, make sure your photo reference, maybe the lighting you put on, is showing really strong shadow. Otherwise, it's gonna be pretty flat. So here's cast shadow. And also, how about underneath the nose? Cast the shadow. And on here. And also the shadow, so we call form shadow. So what is a form shadow? The cast shadow is one item shadows on another items. Also hard edge. The form shadow is the shadow on own forms, also soft edge. Yeah, this is a soft edge. And how about this one, soft edge. So underneath here, all in shadow. Okay, so now I'm shading it. So from here, don't worry about it. So those are details inside the eye. 
just make it simple as possible. So I screen my eye, I saw here is all in shadow, so I make it darker. The yin, oh, you have, they have a paper towel. Thank you. So now this part, the shadow almost like a sunglasses. Don't worry. We just draw like a sunglasses first. So uh, because if I screen my eye, I saw here it's all in shadow. But also we can see a little bit of details. I don't need to worry about it so far. So just give, give a big shadow first. How about here? From here to the top, less pressure, less pressure, less pressure. Make a curves. The paper towers, really good stuff for the charcoal joint. So I push here strong. I make a top light, less pressure. You can see the highlights on here for the hair. So I follow this hair direction. Use a paper towel, my hair is done. Pretty easy. And here too, shadow side, the hair. And here should be darker, then go to top. Less, less pressure. I smudge it. And this one too. And this side, the hair. Same thing, so I make here darker. Go to top, less pressure, less pressure, less pressure. Okay, and the ear, you can see the ear, pretty low, right? Usually, the ear is top ear go to eyebrow. The lower part's ear go underneath the nose. So this one is really low, go to the mouth. Do you know why? For shorten, perspective. So when you're looking up, your ear going down. When you're looking down, your ear going up. See the top ear, go underneath the eye. Here, here's the ear. So when I draw ear, this is in the shadow. So I put everything in shadow first. So I don't need to draw details for that. Underneath the nose, cast the shadow, should put on. How about the upper lip in the shadow? How about the low lip? Low lip in the lighting, okay? From here to the bottom, all in shadow. You just shading everything in shadow first. So this is the long pose one. And later I'm gonna demo how to do the short pose, the face. Okay, and also the neck. Okay, the one thing you have to be careful when you draw females, you always draw neck skinny. Yeah, don't draw look like a football player. <laughs> yeah, too strong, skinny, elegant. Okay, you draw a little bit skinny and longer. You can make it even longer, looks pretty, okay? You can see the, all the fashion models long neck, skinny. Okay, so you can see the shadow parts of the neck. Then you put the back parts, the muscle. Here's like a transition. Here's like a clavicle bone. Here's a shoulder point. Okay, so when I finish this one, Okay, so I saw this part, it should be darker than this area, right? So I make this part a little bit of shading. The one charcoal is really good for beginning. The special for light skin, like a Caucasians, uh, don't make it too dark. Yeah, for African Americans, uh, for my skin, you can make it darker, no problem. Uh, for, yeah, Caucasians, make sure, lighter. Don't make it too dark. So here is a cheek. So I can smudge it. Because it gradually change from here to here, from here to here. And this one too. 
So when you draw this one, think about this one. Because the people face symmetrical. The mouse, okay, the mouse is like the upper lip is like the three forms. Uh, look this shape, look like a heart. See, look like a compressed heart. Underneath the darker a little bit, go to top a little bit lighter, and the corners, mouse, darker. So this corner's mouse should be darker, and this corner's mouse should be darker. But here it's a little bit lighter in the center. So now you can smudge it. Low leap, two shapes. So center should be like a little bit deep, low leap. Then go to this way and go to this way. Soft. So total we have five shapes for mouse. But underneath here should be darker. Then go underneath, less, less pressure. Because a little bit lighter, lighter underneath. And the loose on the bottom. Because the light source comes from the top. But you got a little bit of cast shadow underneath the chin. So if I make here darker a little bit, so you can see the reflections underneath the chin. So always screen your eye, you can see it. Which part should be lighter and which part should be darker. So here I'm gonna lose here. Now I'm gonna draw nose. The nostrils. Darker a little bit. Cast the shot form shadow should be darker, strong. Okay, then you use a paper towel, smudge it to the lighting parts. Less pressure, less pressure, less pressure. And this one too, to the top, less pressure, less pressure. And this one to the top, less, less pressure. So you got a really soft form shadow. Okay, the nose corner here. So here it's gonna be like a one shape, two shapes, four shapes. Total is a three shapes for the nose, the deep nose. Here is gonna be the corner nose, here is gonna be corner nose. So any question you can ask me. So here is a cast, the shadow. So if you make a cast a shadow clear, your drawing is going to be 3D. But they have a reflection underneath the nose. You can just use a finger to lift out. Because this is one charcoal, pretty easy. And here should be really dark. So I'm gonna make a sunglasses even darker. So here, darker too. So I smudge the bridge nose to be lower, so this part should be gray. And here, tip, top nose here should be pretty bright. But both sides nose gave a little bit of transition. Little bit of gray on both sides nose. So even here is a pretty dark, but we still can see the details. Yeah, for example, the eye. We still can see the eye. She got a double eyelid. The first of all, I'm gonna shade in the whole thing, the eye. I don't need to worry about it. So uh, the pupils, uh, the white parts, the eye, up eyelid, low eyelid, don't worry about it. So you just make a basic eye shape in shadow, dark colors first. Okay, then you're shading the right corner to the center, less, less pressure. And the right side corner to the center, less, less pressure. Because the eye is like a bowl. It's like a bowl. 
the both sides should be darker a little bit, and the center should be a little bit lighter. So now I'm going to put double eyelid. Double eyelid. Okay? Her pupils is on the right side. I just make it darker a little bit, like this. Eyebrow. Uh, don't make eyebrows special for females too dark, too mean. Okay, it should be really soft. Okay, special for females. We'll do it. Up eyelid. I can just use a paper towel to lift up. This is a white part of the eye. Here's a low eyelid. That's it, the eye is done. So then you can do this one. Make sure between two eyes, Wide space. Always make eyes soft. Okay, don't make it too hard. Look at the uh, Mona Lisa, the paintings. Really soft. Yeah, make sure it should be consistent. Go to same direction. And also same wide between two eyes, like a wide space. Same thing. I draw the basic eye shape first, and I touch the right side, left side, go to the center, less, less pressure, go to the center, less, less pressure. Okay, this eye corners 